Hi, I'm Angel with fleecefun.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make the easy long cape. There are so and no so options available for this cape. It's really fun and easy to make, great for a costume piece. For this project, you will need the following. You will need a printed up version of Fleece Fun's free pattern available on fleecefun.com, two to two and a half yards of fleece for a long cape, less if you desire a shorter cape, scissors, thread, all right, once you have all those items, it's time to get started. You can find instructions on how to assemble the pattern on fleecefun.com's channel. There are two versions of this cape. There is the easy sew version and there is the no sew version. For the easy sew version, you will, need, you will want to cut out the hood. So cut out two pieces of the hood and set them aside. Make sure the remaining cloth has a straight end on each side. So you might need to use a rotary blade and ruler to cut those ends to make sure that they're exactly straight. Now if you're doing this project, there is a sew version and a no sew version. So if you're doing the sew version, you'll need to cut out the hood part. If you're not doing the no sew version, you're just going to skip to this next step, which is cutting out the cape. For both the easy sew and the no sew options, the length and width of the cape is up to you. In the pattern example, I used two yards of fleece with the full width, so it was six feet in length and 60 inches wide. The width is good for a man, but it might be too bulky for a female. For a woman, I recommend cutting the width down to about 50 inches. Because this pattern works differently, you'll be cutting out the negative space and tossing it away, meaning the pieces you cut out are extra and what remains is the cape. So on the hood section where there are triangles, you're going to cut into the pattern um, to cut out the triangles and not into the cloth. This is only necessary if you're adding the hood for the easy sew option. Find the middle point of your fabric and mark it with a pin. So if your fabric is two yards long, you're going to mark it at one yard. This will be the starting point where, we'll be be where we will begin to build the pattern. Place the negative cutout on the cape on the fold with the top of the negative pattern piece touching the halfway mark you just made. Then use the extenders to build your pattern piece to the end of the cloth. So build it to the length of your cloth. The corner piece lining up with the end to make a curved edge. Pin all of those pieces down. Here's a diagram to help you out. All right, now cutting out the cape nicely is crucial because we aren't finishing the edges. So take your time and make really nice clean cuts in the fleece. All right, so you're gonna lay out your pattern and cut out your cape. Carefully cut out the pattern pieces. You just made the neck in front of your cape. We just made the front, but now let's give the cape a little bit nicer look on the ends. Take the other curved negatives cutouts, the ones that have two pointy ends, on one end where you just did the negative cutout, take it to the edge opposite from the fold and cut it so it's curved. Then go to the opposite end of the cloth, the side that you didn't cut out on or you didn't touch, the, the second yard that we're talking about, and place it on the fabric opposite of the fold, so where the two fabric pieces are meeting where it's not folded. Cut out another curve. Now if you're doing the no sew version, you're finished. Your cape is ready to go. But if you want to do the easy sew version, three seams and you're done. So let's get started on that. Make the hood. Take the hood pieces and using a half inch seam allowance, sew them together. Then, turn under the rim of the hood and using a half inch seam allowance, use a zigzag stitch along the edge to sew it down. Mm -hmm. 
Now you're going to attach the hood to the cape. With right sides together, line up the triangles with each other on the hood of the cape. Pin. Sew together using a half inch seam allowance. Trim your threads and you're finished. And you're finished. You have a great cape that is very versatile. There's actually multiple ways to wear this cape. I like to wear it with a belt cinched in the middle to kind of give it a different kind of look. You can also just throw one um, side of it over your shoulder to give you a different look or both sides and tie them behind you. There's many different versatile ways you can wear this cape. So play around with it and see what you can come up with. If you like this pattern, I have several others on my website, fleecefun.com, that you'll also enjoy. All my patterns and tutorials are free. You might also like the Red Riding Hood cape. Very cute, versatile, and great for going to grandmother's house in. And be sure to check out Fleece Fun on Facebook and on Pinterest. Have a great day. Remember, velvet is pretentious. Fleece is fun.